Hi guys, this is Tammy from Beginner Silhouette Cameo. One of the members had a question about tracing. She wanted to know how to trace something that had three or more colors. Um, she's looking to make this image into a decal for her husband. So I've brought the image over. This is the one that she posted. Um, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to come up here to the open the trace window icon. Click on it and it will drop down or bring up the trace window. You're going to select on trace area and you're going to select the area that you want to trace. So what I did was just inside the frame border, I'm just going to highlight all that area. Okay, and then you'll get additional options over here. You're going to get the option to trace, trace outer edge, trace and detach. Um, those all have their own function and then everything else kind of defaults it defaults to uh, check the high pass filter and you'll hear this a lot where people will say uncheck the high pass filter or sometimes if you want line work you'll want to keep that checked. For our purpose we're not going to want it checked. We're going to uncheck it. So click on that. So all the areas here if I hit trace right now all the areas in yellow is what's going to trace. But if you notice we lost some of the flames and we want the flames back so we're going to reduce the threshold. The threshold defaults to 45% and we're going to bring it down to about 34. You can either use the slider or you can come over here and just hit 34 and then enter. Okay. Um, any higher than 34, you're going to start picking up little pixelated areas that you'll have to end up deleting. So we're not going to do that. We're just going to leave it at 34 and it looks like it's going to trace out pretty good. So once you have what you want traced, you're going to hit trace and there's your image. So this right here is the JPEG image that was posted and this right here is the cut trace area. So if right now if I wanted to send this to the cutter, I click on the cut feature and all of these lines are what's going to cut. Um, but we want to separate those. We want to separate those so that if you want to cut certain areas in certain colors, you can cut those areas individually. Right now, if I was to fill this with a color, this is what it would look like. So it would actually cut out the frame, the black frame area, and then it would cut out all of these areas as well. So if I wanted to do this on a white decal or a black decal, this is how it's going to cut. And that's not really what we want. Um, if you wanted to make this into a, a white decal or a black decal for a car, well, not really a black one unless you're going to actually put it on the car, but for the window, white works great. I would just put white on my cutter, remove the framed area, and just let it cut everything in there, and that would make a really great decal. But if you want to cut more than one color, we're going to need to break this apart. So right now, it's showing this as one image. If you select on it and hit Release Compound Path, it will release all of these shapes and they will be their own image. So I'll show you. So all of these areas have now become their own image. Let me click off of it and then click back on. So the P, that's one image, that's one image, the background is one image, the border, the white border, that is a solid border and that's its own image. So we're going to just fill those in. So I'm going to go ahead and leave the black background there so you can see as I select and color. The white area is the white border. Okay, so if I wanted to give you a better a view, so I'm going to make this purple. It's not the exact purple. If you want the exact purple, you can do that exact color. So see this little dropper? If you click on that, because I already have this area selected, if I come over to the purple background in the original image and I click on it, it will color that area. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this one too. Okay, so now it's colored all these areas. I need to move my H back where it was. And that looks good.
Okay, so now we've covered the background color right here. We're going to select on this image right here and make it white. Go over and click on white. So now those match. Um, these areas are all going to be gray, so I'm going to select one. Hold down my shift button, select all the other areas that I want gray, and make sure you click actually on the inside or the very edge, otherwise you're going to end up selecting other ones. And you can tell when you did that when you go to fill it and it fills in an area that you don't want. So there's that. The flame and inside of the banner right here and right here is going to be yellow, so I'm going to click on that. Hold down my shift, come down here and click on this part of the yellow and this part of the yellow. Color that yellow. And while I'm at it, I'm just going to go ahead and group those. So when you group it, it, it makes those all like, it makes it so that it selects all of them at the same time. Put that back. And I need to color the basketball. So select on that portion. Hold down my shift key, click on all the other portions of the basketball, and then make that orange. This center piece right here, when we released it, it released the center. So when you release a compound path on any of your alphabet, the inside of your A's, your O's, your P's, your Q's, those will become separate pieces. So this, remember, is a separate piece. So I need to make sure that I fill that in with this purple. And then the letters, the PHX, I'm going to select those, click, hold down my shift key and click, and I'm going to make those white. And there you go. Now the black portion of the basketball, you would actually have to edit the nodes. And if you want to know what nodes are when you double click on an image, you get all these little squares. These are all edit points. These are what make up your shape. So if I took this and moved it, those are what's going to make my shape. Back that. So on the basketball, if I wanted to make this black area, I would have to release or break the path right here on the nodes and then attach them on all of these sides so that I can have a solid area where the color will fill. Right now, this is recognizing all of this, the basketball area, as a piece with the background. So if I fill it in with a different color, see what I'm talking about? You'd actually have to block these areas off so that when you clicked on this portion of it, it would be black. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, we could do another video on that if you guys are interested. So right now, this is your image. If you're going to send it to the cutter, you would come over here. And if I want to, um, if I want to cut everything that's in white, I would come over here and go to the advanced option, and I would select by fill color, and then I would click on unclick on everything except for the white. Now the white is going to print. This is what's going to cut. When I'm done cutting everything that's in white, I'm going to come back and I'm going to uncheck this. And then I want to cut everything that's in yellow. So see how the yellow kind of highlighted? Now it's going to cut everything that's in yellow. When I'm done sending that to the cutter, I'm going to come back and I'm going to do the gray color. And then it's going to cut everything that's in gray. Um, otherwise, you would have to select each individual piece. And if you wanted to select each individual piece, you would have to select the gray and then come down and select all the colors in gray and send that to the cutter. Um, if I was going to cut this for a customer that wanted a multicolor, I would do it in the purple, or I might not even do the purple. I might even just do the white, the gray, the yellow, and the orange. Um, I guess I would just depend on your preference. If you have any questions, feel free to tag me on Facebook, send me a Facebook message or a comment on the video, and I'll try to answer any questions that you have. I hope this all makes sense.